For those of us who love the outdoors in winter, nothing conjures up the awesome destructive power of Mother Nature more than an avalanche. In seconds, the crushing wall of snow, ice and debris, moving at up to twice the speed of an express train, will bury everything in its path. Burial prevention is one of the most successful approaches to saving lives in an avalanche event. ABS Vario has been the leader in the development of the avalanche airbag for 25 years. Steve Wagner, Director of Sales and Marketing in North America for ABS Avalanche Rescue Devices, Inc., gave us the goods on their avalanche survival systems. The origins of the avalanche airbag go back to the 1970s. It was a German forester that uh, reportedly uh, survived several avalanches carrying a, a slain deer on his back. And the theory behind it all was that a larger object would stay on top and the smaller objects would stay on the bottom or float to the bottom. It, it greatly increases your chances of survival. Uh, the, it's, it's fully documented. There have been uh, numerous cases both in North America and in Europe. And uh, those that have lived to tell a story are, are firm believers in the technology, absolutely. It was a bit more than a year ago and um, I got caught by a fairly big avalanche um, in Austria. And uh, we were two people um, skiing that day. And um, I had an airbag. And um, at the end of the avalanche, I ended up in this position. I shouted the name of the friend of mine and I didn't get any answer. So um, I knew that I had only about 10 to 15 minutes. So um, I started to dig myself out with the hands. There was no way. So I managed to take the backpack down and the shovel out. While I was digging um, myself out, I found her ski at my leg and um, it hadn't released. So I could just follow the ski and was able to dig her out. But um, I can definitely say that um, this airbag saved my life and hers as well, because without me not being buried, I wouldn't have been able to dig her out. First of all, try to avoid avalanches, but there's always a risk that remains um, in the back country. So just make sure you have all the safety equipment. I, I'm definitely recommending the airbag. They are a very durable product. I mean, we go through full testing. Uh, I can tell you from personal experience, we've actually taken one out, uh, an airbag out in the, in the parking lot and driven it over it with an F-350 without, uh, without it exploding. So uh, it, is, it, is, it is durable. The ABS bag definitely saved my life. I was at the bottom and I don't see how without it I would have ended up where I was. It brought me to the top so that I was able to focus on a goal. I was able to look at where I wanted to go and I was able to swim. And until pulling the trigger, I was sitting at the bottom. I don't feel how I could have had any control over the situation. And as soon as I pulled it within a second, two seconds, that started to change. And all of a sudden I could see where I wanted to go. So that was a big difference. I'd recommend it for sure. Uh, it's, uh, um, I just think it's the best one on the market. I mean, you, you put it on, it feels nice. It's, uh, you know, they're they are expensive, but I mean, everything in, in the sledding world is expensive. And it, uh, what's your life worth? You know, I've been wearing an ABS for several years now, and uh, man, it's uh, it's kind of like you don't even notice it's there any longer. It's uh, very comfortable. It's designed ergonomically to fit your back and your body very well. So. No, for the amount of protection you're getting from it, it's definitely worth it. I wear mine all the time. Like avalanche survivor Daniel Buss said, object one is to avoid an avalanche. But nature is powerful and unpredictable. When you take on the challenge of the backcountry, you want the best protection you can get.
Fast TV is sponsored by Articat, celebrating 50 years in snowmobiling. By Ultimax Snowmobile Belts, make it a round trip. And by Snowboard Canada Magazine, Canada's best snowmobiling. Next week on Snowmobiler TV, we get tight with the OTSFF Snowcross team for some insight at the track. We check in with a veteran about Cat's 50th anniversary, and we take some time to celebrate and recognize the efforts of club volunteers. Got comments or suggestions? Email us at info at snowmobilertv.com. And be sure to visit the STV website for more awesome sledding videos and entertainment. We appreciate your time. Join us again for STV. STV.